As you'll all remember, you've decided to uh, drop the anchor, sail in to, to land, and go on a picnic. And Meryl, when you immediately sense that something is terribly, horribly wrong. <laughs> oh. Oh. I am the wizard bin bag. <laughs> there is a great evil to the east, Meryl. Oh my God. You and your sarcastic... <laughs> <laughs> Sandwich-eating friends must go forth and vanquish it. So you reckon I can tie up three goblins in a minute? A minute's ages. Ages and ages. <laughs> this is a dexterity sleight of hand check. You are going to have to beat a 20. <gasps> what? As I... Oh. Three in a minute? <laughs> <laughs> 15 to 20 foot apart, and you're going... Oh. I hit it square in the face with a, a s single lancing bolt of Eldritch Blast, and it splits like a ripe tomato. <laughs> <laughs> where once there were trees, now they've all been cut down. It's like scorched earth. And those trees have been hewn and turned into a series of cages. And each of these cages are all sorts of different sizes. They all have a different animal. There's a bear, there are some rabbits, there are deer, and every single one of them is running on a little wheel. <laughs> Why don't you go down and talk to the okay. bear? Yeah, and then, me on board. Yeah, and then I can sneak down and unlock okay, it. Okay, two, two seconds. I've just got to, got to change. <laughs> Um, but we're going to try and get you out because you guys shouldn't be in cages, you should be out in the forest. I'm just going to belch flames all over the five goblins at yeah. once. Um, just remind me from your character sheet, or remind the audience, uh, exactly how flame breath works. Um, it's a 15 foot cone, <laughs> it says, of flame. Oh, good um, shot. Sure. sure, flame. Uh, and it, it's a, I, I don't know what any of this stuff means, Johnny, I'm sorry. Fire comes out of your mouth. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Would you like to what pass does that it mean, down? Though? And yes. I can interpolate it. Does our inspiration carry over from, uh... Yes, you all entered this inspired. Sweet. Um, wait until they've all exploded. No, 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 wait. I feel, I feel like, uh, Egbert is spooling up to do something real rad, and I just want to give him some bardic inspiration. Oh, that's just a thing you can do, yeah. But, yeah? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Egg, but you can do it. This is going to be really rad. Think of this song when you cook all those goblins. My, my dragony heart fills with Aww. pride and excitement. Good. And uh, what feels like heartburn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, got it. So I'm going to roll that one. That's a two. Oh, no, yeah, you need to roll 2d6. Yeah. I'm really sorry. Uh, <laughs> one of them has managed to dodge out of the way. Ah, damn it. Yeah. And a three. It just two and a three. Two and a three. So that's a five. So all of the rest of them take five damage. <laughs> Basically, catchy, they it? are all like really not in a good way. There are now five goblins that cool. are just sort of writhing and smoking, and they're still able to act, but they're they're it's looking bad for them. And there's another one who looks very unhappy. Um, <laughs> I apologise to them and say, but, but you shouldn't have chosen the path of evil. This was supposed to be a picnic. <laughs> yeah. So much writhing. What's your armor class, Egbert? It is 17. Fantastic, because the other one's going to try and shoot you. And he's done it! Shoot me! So. Ow. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, you're going to take five piercing damage, I'm a race. Oh, no! Death. Ouch. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> oh, oh, I have well, nothing to say, I'm just alarmed. <laughs> <laughs> this one, this one stands. Does anyone else feel this situation spiralling? How about we like rush, rush them while they're still writhing and just really just try just, and finish them off nicely? Just and hack quick. away at the writhing yeah. mass. Yeah. <laughs> I jump on one of their faces as a cat. Okay, I'm just sorry. I'm just rolling for the bear. Um, <laughs> the bear turns out being quite an effective combatant. Has killed that goblin. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So, there nice we go. There. Without yeah. a second thought, I sprint into the mass of writhing goblins. Great. And bust out a rad thunder wave. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds I'd just like to clarify, I have not jumped on any of their faces. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to make it clear I never jumped on anyone. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to make it clear I'm out of the range. <laughs> Fine. Yeah. We'll roll with that. I'll stop it. <laughs> I'm incorporeal, <laughs> technically. Right, Thunderwave then. Yeah. Uh, the best. How does the song go for Thunderwave? Yeah. Yes, that's a, that's a 
good time. I imagine it's like thunder wave, thunder wave, waves of thunder, greatest thunder across the sky. Yeah, yeah, and then it's like double bass pedal, like. Oh no, it's yeah, it's just it's casting time is one action, but I never actually declared that we were in combat, so yeah. I like doing things without you know necessarily rolling for initiative. Loophole. All right, I sprint into the middle of them. Thunder wave. I'll just keep doing this in it's a face melting solo. It's up really high. They're alarmed. They're freaking out. I've rolled yet. Good. I'm not rolling. What? That's part of the song, Johnny. I'm rolling, rolling with the thunder wave. Rolling with the thunder wave. And yes. A massive power slide. A thunder wave. All of their faces off. <laughs> Pretty much, yes. Yeah. Because <laughs> they all failed their saves, so they're all going to take 2d8 thunder damage. So I can tell you confidently they're going to die, but you may as well roll 2d8 anyway and see how much damage you are doing. Okay. And then we're going to find some way to turn Merylwen back into Merylwen, because I imagine Ellen's knees are getting quite sore. <laughs> that was the, an 8, right? Yeah. That's it, okay. yep. That's a six. Plus a... And a seven. Great, that would have... <laughs> wow! That... <laughs> the way you You've killed them outright, like, twice. Great! Um, so when what you're writing happens? a song about this, could you put in the bit about how I softened the moment for you? <laughs> and, uh, uh, I, was I need this. I took a bullet. Hey, bards exaggerate. Okay. We'll see. So, yeah, not just the ones who are on the floor smoking and writhing and screaming and generally not looking very good, but the, uh, the bowman who just shot Egbert uh, also just gets vaporised. Yeah. And the book is wonderfully specific about this. A cube of thunder. A 15-foot cube of thunder. Lovely sharp edges, 90-degree corners. It's, it's as cubes go. Mm, it's just great. So... so there's a bear running around and a goat running around and there's now just one goblin really should have thought this through who is uh, coiling a whip in front of him and he's sort of just he's now walking towards you like he's initiating swagger basically he's like so you think you can come in here release my animals although thank you for not releasing the bear on top of another bear <laughs> And just kill all my boys, do ya? We provably can do those things. Yeah. <laughs> they can literally happen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't mean I have to be happy about it. Do you want to turn back into a... Yeah, I yeah. run in front of him. <gasps> and then I turn back into <gasps> my elf self. <laughs> <laughs> On my left foot. <laughs> <laughs> I guess the yeah the whip guy calling his whips goes ah, ah. <laughs> that was unforeseen. <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna do? I'm gonna try and shoot him. Yes. What? Sounds good. With my bow and arrow. Right, do it. And his armor class is 17. So you can beat 17. Um, oh, don't forget to add your dex good. modifier and add your proficiency. So you're adding six to this roll. Five. <laughs> Bit out of practice. <laughs> I pick up my bow and arrow and I shoot, and then I'm like, no, wait, I've got hands not. There's a little bit yeah. of crossover time sometimes, and I'm still. You're like, able to pick a lock earlier, <laughs> then you can't shoot a bow and arrow with normal hands. Sorry. You know, those are two sorry. different things. <laughs> Either way, you're all paws, and the arrow goes wide, um, and the whipmaster uh, is going to attack you, Mac. What's your armor class? Fifteen. Fifteen. All righty. So the good news is that you only take four damage. The bad news is he's a real dick about it. Because, <laughs> like, he knows his weapon doesn't do that much damage, but basically the lash falls across your cheek and you get, like, a scar that in a, <gasps> a couple of months is going to look really cool. But right now just looks really angry. And he goes, Meh! Should have stayed as a cat, shouldn't you? I think you would look quite good running around in a little wheel, powering this mill. Excuse yeah. me. <laughs> <laughs> Egbert, punch him, dare you. 
punch him so hard his head comes off. <laughs> Someone punch him. I so. punch him so hard that his head comes off. Thank you. <laughs> so, hang on, both of you are punching him. No, 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 no. Egbert, Egbert's doing okay, it. Okay, Egbert's going to punch him so we hard. We can both do it with his head in the His head right. comes off. Great. Yeah. Straight up. Do we even have damage stats for fists? <laughs> Just use your mace, you have a proficiency yeah. in it. All right, I swing my way, mace like a baseball bat at, at the goblin's head. Okay. Because I'm still raw about the fact I've been shot. That's fair. That's, um, <laughs> that's going to be a strength check, and you do Ooh. have proficiency in your mace, so add your strength modifier and your proficiency modifier, which should be a plus two. I don't know what your strength modifier is. My strength modifier is a plus four. Great, so you're adding six to the roll. And as before, you're looking to beat a 17 armor class. And what am I rolling? A D20. 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 Which is this one. Yeah. The one with 20 sides. Mike's second ever D&D Only session. Only my second ever time, <laughs> by the way. 15. Yeah! Plus 4, plus 2, right? Yeah, that's a, well, that's a hit, all right. Uh, <laughs> what's the damage on a. Uh, the damage is. Please oh, mace. Mace. Uh, 1d8 piercing. Okay, and then you will add your strength modifier to that. Oh, plus 4. Yeah. 7. Great. <laughs> uh, you punch him so hard his head comes off. Yeah! yeah! And it kind of like. Corkscrews around. And can, I, whee! can I bicycle kick it into the cage where the bear was? <laughs> that will be a dexterity acrobatics <laughs> check. <laughs> call us on. We're going to call that a difficulty of 20. Uh, it's an eight. Uh, <laughs> you look like an idiot. <laughs> You basically, you do that thing, you know where people do a bicycle kick and they just pff, and really wind themselves? That's what, I guys, that's what I meant to do. I meant to do that. Played for and got. You are, yeah, you're just winded now. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> I give Egbert a hug because that was really cool. Thanks for oh. standing up for me, buddy. It's all right. Oh. Let's Anytime. all hug Egbert. <laughs> uh, all right, uh, Meryl Wen, can you tell all these animals not to attack us because we're going to let them out of their cages? Okay, okay. There's a sudden crack of thunder. <laughs> Excellent. Yes. And the wizard bin bag appears in front of you. Uh, this guy. This friggin' guy. He says, well done. You have found the heart of the evil in the forest. And while you haven't completely dismantled it yet, it seems like you're well on your way. I'm proud of you, Meryl Wen. And... The other one with the incredible decapitating skills. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah, is there any money in this bin bag? <laughs> is there any money in this bin bag? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I assume there is. I'm afraid not, sir. Uh, for one uh, thing, you strike me as something of, well, what we in the wizarding world call a kicking chicker. <laughs> And furthermore, I, in the wizarding world, am what you might call a framing device. <laughs> Does it, I wish you'd stop saying the wizarding world. <laughs> and thus I have nothing to offer you. The wizarding world. <laughs> Dog, backflip onto him. <laughs> no! Does I'd anyone else think it's a little convenient that Bin Bag shows up when all, just when all the danger's passed? I'm just saying. Got to go! <laughs> Wait, is the... You know, I need, uh, you're obviously connected to me because I am druidic. Is there, is there any way that we can free all these animals nice and quickly? Can you, can you aid us? Can you point us in the right direction? Because I don't want to just leave them. You are a wizard, aren't you? Yeah, you're a wizard, please. Yeah, can't you do this? You're talking a lot about being a wizard, but I'm not seeing much wizardry going on. <laughs> do they not have that in the wizarding world? Yeah. Yeah. You think it would be you? Nice. <laughs> Trying to get it would be help. sort Stop of the cornerstone sarky. of the wizarding world would be wizarding, but yeah. <laughs> I can summon thunder with the voice of about 160 people. And We've you are not impressed. Person. Fine. There's a sudden <laughs> clap of thunder, and all of the locks fall open. Yeah. You jerks. <laughs> yeah. You guys. Bin bags legit, we shouldn't have said that stuff. <laughs> and all of the animals surge out, um, yeah. of course, because you didn't 
do it in any form of order. Some of the animals higher up on the food chain fall on some of the animals lower down in the food chain. It's a circle of life. The next we'll call it seven minutes are what you might charitably describe as pandemonium. <laughs> but nonetheless, most of the animals that were formerly imprisoned from this forest go back to their normal lives. Guys, that was brilliant. <laughs> That was hilarious. Did you see that bear eat that wolf? Oh He's, my god. Oh my god. Carnage. It's very <laughs> well. I take it all back. This has Nature's been an excellent great. day out. No, it's a circle of life, but no need to <laughs> revel in it. Circle of life. Moves us all. This is what Mufasa meant. <laughs> In that tale that you heard, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Through that kazoo. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's hey. just when you're discussing uh, the vagaries of the circle of life and whether you should try and salvage your picnic, spoilers, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's when you hear it. Good. Is there a ghost? Like it. It. What, the clown off that movie? <laughs> yes. Oh, God, guys. Don't make me impersonate Tim Curry. <laughs> Spies! <laughs> there is a thump and a crash, and the canopy before you starts to shake, and the trees start to part, and one of them gets uprooted and thrown clear across the lumber yard as a gargantuan mechanical stag beetle oh my oh God. starts to stomp its way in with an el not an eldritch careful <laughs> a glow of a distinctly non eldritch type <laughs> coming from its eyes oh Dot, does God. this remind you of that tale wild no. wild west <laughs> <laughs> You heard the one, right? You know it. I have heard, I have heard sing of it. Yeah. <laughs> I remember the, the song you wrote about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was very good. I I sing it often. Give us a performance. <laughs> it's very moving. <sighs> um, that thing that was glowing. Yes. Who's heard the, who's heard the song of Shadow of the Colossus? <laughs> <laughs> The, uh, the beetle throws back its mechanical head with a great clanking and with a great war cry of woohoo, ha ha. <laughs> it yeah. charges oh, oh. into the clearing. And <laughs> I'm going to say this now because I forgot earlier and it's a good dramatic moment. Roll for initiative! Oh. Everyone rolls a d20. You should all have an initiative modifier somewhere. Yes. Uh -huh. Of course. 18 plus 4. What? Is new. I've got 16. I've got 6. <laughs> <laughs> I've got 9. I also have 9. Uh, who wants to go first out of Luke and Mike? You go first. Oh, OK. Go on then. Right. Merylwen, uh, you rolled insanely high. Uh, there is a giant mechanical bug stomping its way in and rapping positively about good relationships with its parents. <laughs> what are you, you going to do? Wow, wow, West, James uh, West, Desperado, it, right Rough Rider. Uh, no, it it is... is not a, none of this six gun and this brother. We're going to say it's, soldier. Look, it's, like it's 35 feet away from you. Yeah. So your speed yeah, is... Oh, that's exactly your speed. You can Rough reach it in this day. Roughnecks who don't check the law on the bide. Watch your step or flex and get a hole in your side. Swallow your pride. I love the song, it's like you're calling it. Without a miss from the start of this, running the game. James West, taming the West. So remember There's a sudden drop of thunder. The wizard bin bag appears for a split <laughs> second and just goes, no! <laughs> and then he just bursts apart into a million angry crows. <laughs> Meryl went, what are you doing? <laughs> well, um, I'm going to run up to it. Uh-huh. And try and... <laughs> leap onto it okay. and pierce it with my short sword. On... The metal. I'm going to try and leap onto the glowy bit. <laughs> okay. Good. <laughs> oh. 
you are within range uh, based on your speed. You can get up to it. Um, I'm going to break this down into two rolls. That's a dex acrobatics check. Let's call it a ten because you have recently been a cat. Nailed it. Fine. Uh, you spring up onto it uh, and now just jab your sword into it. So that will be a strength check. Do you have proficiency in your short sword? Yes. Or long sword? Which one? Short yep, sword. great. So add your proficiency bonus. Uh, its armor class is an 11. 12. Together. Nice. nice. So, I mean, you describe it. You're the one who's leaping in the air with a sword. Okay. So I race towards it, jump up, land perfectly. Yeah. <laughs> you know, if, if there were these things called the uh, Olympics, that would have been a 10 out of 10 landing. And I have heard sing of them. <laughs> as I land, I plunge my sword into the glowy bit. Okay, um, roll the damage. 1d6 piercing, don't forget to add your strength bonus, which is a uh, whole one. <laughs> Four altogether. Great. So you're now embedded in a giant bug. Corathon. Yes. Uh, I have heard tell of a tale called The Empire Strikes Back. <laughs> <laughs> back, back F. Uh, in which, Strike it back. In which large mechanical creatures were brought down um, by rope. So you did rope. Uh, looking at looking at the lay of the land where we are. Yep. I, I spot two likely looking trees to which towards which the mechanical beetle is walking, and I string uh, rope across them to try and trip it. <laughs> Walking into a clearing, Andy. <laughs> yes, but a, a clearing with two two trees in it. In that case, two stumps. I'll give you that. I'll give you two stumps. Two st okay, I, I tie the ropes to the stumps, and it's if there's just enough clearing on the rope that the mechanical beetle's legs are going to get all tangled in it. And, okay. Uh, are you looking to like goad it in any way, or are you just gonna? Yeah, and then I'll say, "Hey, you big mechanical beetle, guess what? We're gonna wah wah." And I sing, <laughs> I sing the entirety of Wild Wild West. It roars in fury. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get back to that. So, by gentleman's agreement, uh, Egbert is next. Well, I might try and throw a bomb. <laughs> Merylwen is on the back of the beetle. Right, so the glo whereabouts, where is the glowy bit positioned? It's, on the no, I do, all I said was that there was like its eyes were glowing. Oh, its eyes are glowing. Yeah. Well, can I? Does it have mandibles and like an open mouth? Oh yeah. Uh, can I post oh, yeah. a bomb through that from range? <laughs> like throw it. Yeah, it's going to be really annoying. So I'm going to say yes. Okay. Yes, I would like to do that, please. I, I get my... Get, no, wait, even, even better. <laughs> what better? I lift, I lift the, uh, the bomb to my lips, and it light the fuse, toss it up in the air, and then with my mace... <laughs> swing and crack the bomb directly into its mandible gob. I can't wait to see what I have to roll for this one. <laughs> Sorry. meta -ing. I'm concerned. <laughs> <laughs> right, this is going to be a dexterity check, I think. No, wait, because you're, you're just using your bloody mouth. Yeah, I am. All right, you're just going to smash your lip bomb with your mace. Fine. <laughs> Egbert is killed instantly. <laughs> It is Dude, a good I'm, I'm, death. I'm just I'm gonna say in order to get this to go over, uh, this is fudgy and potentially rule breaking, but you're just gonna have to beat a twenty to get this to go over. Oh, <laughs> so I had four and two yep, so to whatever six, I roll. Adding six, you've got to be hit twenty, so okay. you've got an even ish shot. Sixteen. <laughs> Just picture what that looks like, Johnny. I mean, it's almost like this party has form in just <laughs> annihilating bosses, isn't it? Um, all right, so you... It, basically, the beetle just kind of goes... <laughs> and the bomb explodes. 
Uh, what's the damage stat on your bomb? <laughs> uh, it is... Um, There's a lot about being caught in the blast radius. I think it's safe to assume the beetle is. Oh, uh, yeah. All creatures within five foot radius must make a DC 12 dex check. We'll or, skip that. It's eaten it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or take 3d6 fire damage. The good news, ladies and gentlemen, is that you're all going to get out on time. <laughs> Here are 3d6. <laughs> Rolling them. Get to Mike. <laughs> I'll say nice he did just roll like two sixes. But <laughs> <laughs> Fine, let's yeah. roll them. See how that goes. Okay. Oh, I, I've got a, a six, a two, and a one. Um, it continues to roar in fury, and it looks very <laughs> Damn it. sore. Oh, I love this. You're looking at me like you expect it to be dead. <laughs> <laughs> you are level one characters, aren't you? I love this. I know it's a bomb, but it's a giant mechanical yeah, all right, beetle. All right. All right. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, I I look at how far apart are its legs. I wonder. I look. At, <laughs> I look and see that the answer is. <laughs> its body is about as wide as these two tables are. It big. Nice. <laughs> all right. I sprint directly underneath it, and I'm going to do a mechanical. Interfering, leg shattering thunder wave. Can't argue with that. Um, All six legs should be in, in the, the cube. cube. <laughs> Are you standing directly under it at the, at the yeah. moment? I, I run and I, I duck into a cool knee roll. Knee slide. Into, yeah. Do a knee slide. I do a knee, oh, yeah, knee I do slide. a knee slide. Yeah. 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 I, I hear Prudence shouting about a knee do slide. Do a knee slide. <laughs> run. I do a cool knee slide. Thunder directly. wave. <laughs> <laughs> I come to rest directly underneath the beetle. Its eyes swivel down in alarm. <laughs> and then... You do thunder your thunder yeah. wave! Yeah. Right, so it's got... So, uh, it's failed the, uh, the saving throw, so it's taking 2d8 thunder damage. Okay. So, all right. That one, oh. and another one that looks just like that. <laughs> Roll them at the same time, it's more fun. Oh, sorry. No, it's fine. No, <laughs> you keep that. Keep That's that. an eight. <laughs> Keeping oh. that one. Keeping that and one. Is this a D8? Yeah. Well, I'm rolling it. <laughs> we got an eight and a three. Where's your precious electricity now, you mechanical monster? <laughs> I seem to say. <laughs> um, it kind of judders and uh, shakes and sort of like lowers itself to the ground, but then slowly starts to get back up. Um, how tall is this thing? Meryl, then. <laughs> oh no, the cube! Not the cube! The cube! You don't know how I was saying to Mike, I'm on the thing! <laughs> Could you, you roll just, me You a... just had to look cool, didn't you, dog? I thought it was quite tall. You thought it would be cool. If it's legs are this wide and it's a stag beetle, it's gotta be like... If it's this wide, it's, it's gonna, gonna be, be like as high as the top of the ceiling. That's not 50 foot. It's oh, made no. Of... <laughs> no! Thank, thanks, yeah. Could you roll thanks. me a d20, please? Oh. <laughs> That's an 18. <laughs> Marilyn's just, like, cool. <laughs> I'm a wood elf, so I don't conduct electricity. <laughs> I feel like all your hair is standing on it, <laughs> but you're fine. <laughs> it is warm in here. <laughs> all right, so um, anyway, nothing, nothing occult has happened in the last five minutes. Uh, so, <laughs> hey, Prudence, all right. what are you doing? <laughs> I've been warming up the Eldritch Blast. <laughs> Fantastic. Eldritch Blast! Eldritch Blast! Eldritch Blast! Eldritch Blast! Eldritch Blast! Yeah, I think I heard Cthulhu that time. <laughs> yeah. So it sounded like a bunch of people. That guy is loud. Yeah, no, noisy guy. Ch charging up the Eldritch Blast. Prudence! Yep. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to aim it carefully. Try not to hit me, thanks. <laughs> not at Meryl. Don't be a dob. Yeah, don't be a dob. <laughs> don't be a dob. <laughs> Yeah, that is not a thing. <laughs> is that a thing? Yeah. It's a thing, Dob. 
I'm, I'm, go I'm going for the mandible area Very where good. the bomb went. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Excellent. Gonna tamp it down with yep. some Eldritch Blast. Mm -hmm. Okay. You, well, you just got to roll damage. So yeah, roll damage. A so D10. D10. There we go. Okay. Magic is such a racket. I can't believe I didn't. <laughs> yeah, man. How many spells? You are the only oh. one. Oh. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Idiot. It's a it, it's a four, but okay. I need to add, add my spell attack bonus, right? No. Oh, really? Yeah. But it, it says here. <laughs> <laughs> but that's when you're making the spell attack. Oh. But because this is a named cantrip. Well, fine. But 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 Eldritch Blast. It's a four. Eldritch. <laughs> it's a four. Eldritch Blast. It hit. It, it, it hit. <laughs> but it just did four damage. Four Boom. Damage. Five, eight. Don't worry, guys. My rope's still in place. So. <laughs> Give it another five minutes and that, that beetle's coming down. Speaking of which... <laughs> the beetle is um, furious that you goaded it uh, and it is going to charge directly. Wow. <laughs> it's really angry. It's, like, it's just really angry. Ha <laughs> ha, It's going to charge into your trap now. It's going to break through your trap now. <gasps> Uh, What's your armor class there, Cara? Uh, 15. It misses. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've got a screen and I could have fudged it and put an end to all of this. But I didn't. Right, we're back round again. Meryl Wen. What's up? Uh, well, I'm on the top of it. Yeah. Um, I don't know how much damage I did but I've obviously annoyed it. Um, I have this thing uh, called uh, Thorn Whip. Yep. And I would like to quickly jump off mm -hmm. and try and do what Corazon's trap sadly didn't do and try and trip up its legs <laughs> with my Thorn Whip. I'm being the backup. I'm being your backup, mate. Uh, Sounds it's, it's like not you're jumping into the canopy and just throwing shade. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, yeah, it's a melee spell attack. Mm -hmm. So you're making a strength check and adding your spell modifier. Plus, plus three. And it's armor class 11. You've rolled a 17, because of course you have. <laughs> uh, so you're doing d6 damage. Okay. Four's all right. Good. The important thing is I'm no longer on top of it. <laughs> Good. And your intention was... <laughs> Your intention was to try and restrain it in some to way. To try and trip up its legs. Uh huh. No. <laughs> <laughs> but good try. Corathon. Yes. I am gonna uh, stab it with my rapier. <laughs> Sounds um, like fun. Yeah. Uh, also, though, I'm going to use my ability, which I call sneak attack. It's a little phrase I used to describe it. It's, uh, but it means I can deal an extra d uh, d6 damage to a creature, and I don't need advantage if there is another enemy within five feet of it. Uh, that's a seven. Uh-huh. Now add your dex modifier, and you've got proficiency in a rapier. Uh, Fifteen. Great. You hit it. So um, roll your damage. Don't forget to add your bonus damage, and don't forget to add your dexterity modifier onto that. Okay. Uh, right. So... It's a five plus a four plus a two plus another four. Great. Anyone maths? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Fifteen. Oh, you guys are good. <laughs> you know how I mentioned there wasn't really a glowing bit earlier? Mm. Um, turns out there was a glowing Whoa. bit. Whoa. Well, uh, and Corathon's rapier just found it. <gasps> yes. As he lunges forward and drives his blade uh, into the, uh, the beetle that was pulling up all of these trees, it starts to shake and shudder, and generally, like, everyone can tell, it's, it's coming apart. So, um, everyone's going to move back a bit? Yeah. Move back a bit? Move mm -hmm. back a bit. Everyone moves back a bit, because back it lips, explodes! Whoa. Yeah. Massively. Whoa. Wow. See, what was the... <laughs> How are you guys for making that seem so hard? He just came apart. I barely touched him. It was easy. <laughs> Wicked a wah wah. <laughs> all right, Captain Bicycle Kick. <laughs> we all helped. Uh, good job, guys. <laughs> Teamwork makes good the work. <laughs> Is Kenneth Branner inside? <laughs> God, Seems I... you've stumbled across my <laughs> evil 
Why is there so much wild wild west? <laughs> I, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I didn't see this coming. As the dust settles and the husk of this uh, beetle starts to crumble in on itself, um, you hear a strange whistle and then a big clang as before you, rather conveniently, lands a somewhat bent and misshapen and sooty metal plate. Uh, all right, I pick up the plate and look at it. Lick it. <laughs> no, Dob licks it. And I, oh, no. <laughs> I lick it. Dob licks. <laughs> it tastes like... Uh, Guys, smoke. it tastes like... <laughs> grease. It tastes like grease. <laughs> and wood smoke. Wood, wood smoke. And, and... And wait, there's something else. Tin. And what, sorry, what? Metal. And metal. Is metal. Cool. Interesting. Right. Thank you for that, Dob. I'm now going to read the place. There's one more. Oh. Wait. It tastes like glory. <laughs> <laughs> I keep that to myself. <laughs> Do you want that point of inspiration back? <laughs> You've got it. <laughs> right, so I'm the, examining the plate. The plate has been licked clean and uh, it's very shiny. You're welcome. Dog. Thank you. <laughs> Corathon I mean, kind of... More thorough than I would have thought. Yeah. <laughs> As Corathon uh, starts to buff the uh, largest of the spit bubbles from the plate, uh, an, an inscription becomes clear. The inscription reads thus. M. Chenail. <laughs> Incredible mechanical logging machines. The M stands for made with the money. <laughs> I got from selling my wonderful elixir. Damn it. Now sadly discontinued. <laughs> that friggin' no. <laughs> There's a sudden clap of thunder. And the wizard bin bag appears before you uh, once more and says, This guy. Always just after the fighting, I know. Yeah, bin bag. Yeah, thanks, bin bag. How old do you think I am? 4,000 years old. Guess again, Sonny. <laughs> 3,999. No, it was, I meant that as higher as a size. Okay. Can we get back the bear that talks like Zippy? I, just, <laughs> I preferred him. No! <laughs> it died to the bear on top of another bear. <laughs> Damn, the only animal no. that can kill a bear. <laughs> Didn't think about that, did you? Was Michael okay? Sure. Good. <laughs> Any road, I just wanted to say thank you for vanquishing the evil. Although, to be honest, I'm now half convinced that you were indirectly its source. <laughs> The Must be thinking of a different group of adventurous. No. Surely. Is this, can we have our picnic now? Because I really am still quite hungry. Sure. Um, Thanks. Yeah. Bin bag. I mean, it does look like your sandwiches are somewhat blood sodden, but <laughs> who am I to stand in the way of a good time? Either way, I just wanted to say thank you, all adventurers, and thank you, mysterious members of the forest, for coming. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for coming, everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Thank, you thank you very much, everyone. <laughs> yeah. can't finish this without a celebratory song of some sort. I think Dobbs got a little number for just this occasion. Come on, yeah. Zippy. Yeah. You're going to have to start, Dob. Okay. One, two, one, two, three, four. I've got something to tell you. I've got news for you. Gonna put these wheels in motion. Get ready, cause we're coming through. Hey now, hey now, hear what I say now. Happiness is just around the corner. Hey now, hey now, hear what I say now. We'll be there for you. The 
the mega bus is coming and everybody's jumping. New York to San Francisco, an intercity disco. The wheels of steel are turning and traffic lights are burning. So if you want to party, come on and move your body. Hey! Woo! That's an original composition by us.